being one of the greatest, it's uh, so fascinating to have somebody who has gone through it, knows what it takes, right? There's mm -hmm. there's levels to every sport, there's levels to every goal, there's levels to every uh, uh, health journey, uh, business journey, whatever it might may be, and you have walked a path that few have walked before. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. I we've got a chance to get to know each other a little bit and I can just, you radiate humility. So I figured I would brag for you just a little bit <laughs> yeah. off the top here because, you know, our, our, our burn members, um, you know, they, they have goals and they love to hear from people who are goal oriented um, and who also can relate with achieving something that scares them a little bit. So yeah. beach volleyball, professional volleyball, like what does it take? A lot. I have been through the trenches. Um, you know, it's something that you make a lot of sacrifices. People talk about making sacrifices to become the best that you can be. And that's true, but it's also, sometimes it's hard to say you're making sacrifices because you're doing something that you love. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, there's some sacrifice in, you know, giving stuff up, other things or spending time with family and friends, but it's it's worth it in the end. And as long as you have a supporting community and a supporting family, then it, it really is worth it. And do you do you feel like as as you know, you had an ultimatum as a volleyball player? Do you feel like you had to choose volleyball over something specific? Uh, uh, you know, you make the short term sacrifices in terms mm -hmm. of time and being able to be at weddings and, and yeah. things like that. Talk to me about, you know, what those sacrifices were and why you ultimately chose to say, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to pursue this. Uh, definitely. I mean, there was definitely missed a lot of weddings, missed funerals, missed things that were very important to me. Um, luckily I have friends and family that have always supported my journey. So they were always very understanding if I couldn't make it to those things. Mm -hmm. Um, and the other part is just doing other activities. You know, I grew up, my dad is an adrenaline junkie. So I grew up on motorcycles and on the mountain, uh, skiing, snowboarding. So it's like, yeah, I, I had to miss out on some family trips and that, that was always hard. And, um, but again, they, you know, my family supported me every step of the way. So missing those things sucked in the moment, but now I get to do it. Yeah. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. I mean, and it ultimately paid off. I mean, yeah, what, so yeah. you know, you may. What would you call your greatest moment in your volleyball career? There is a lot, honestly. Um, 2018 is the year that definitely sticks out the most to me. Uh, me and my teammate partnered up early in the season, and when we teamed up, I think we were ranked 80th something in the world. Within the first three months, we were top 25 in the world, and then within six months, we were top 10. And that was kind of, that put us on our path to making the Olympic qualification. Um, so that whole year was just, you know, to go from every big international tournament we played in, we had to play in something called the country quota, which is you fly to Switzerland on your own dime and you play your own country, two matches against your own country. If you lose one of those matches, you fly home. So you had to win both of those. And then you had to go through the qualifier, which you, you're still not making money. Um, and then you had to play two to three matches of the qualifier to then actually make it into the main draw. So we did that all throughout 2018. We made it into the main draw at every single big event and got a top five finish at every single event. So it was just like that whole season just felt like one of the biggest accomplishments. And we were basically top USA team or second USA team throughout the entire season. Wow. And so once you got to that top spot, what changed? Everything. Okay. <laughs> um, we got into a lot of USA funding. So everything we were doing, um, it just took off the financial burden of everything. Mm. And it, we got help with travel. We got help with coaching, um, you know, working out at USA Volleyball. There's the headquarters for beach volleyball in Tor Torrance, California. So we just got a lot of perks being in those top two spots. That's incredible. And, yeah. um, I was talking with you about the interview with Kathleen Baker and it was very similar. Like even as a right. world, a world champion, you don't get a lot of extra support and mm -hmm. it's only when you get to that real top spot when, yep. you know, the, the people, not, not your friends and your family, but that secular layer of people <laughs> kind of comes around you. And so yeah. it took you a long time to get there years and years and years of training. 
Yes. Um, let's go, let's go, because I think it's really important for us to talk about how you got there. Like mm -hmm. that's to, you know, just scroll your Instagram and, and see all of those moments that I'm sure are so special to you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like that, it was like your memory bank of all of your right. special volleyball moments. And, yeah. um, it was a joy for me to get to see that. So if you guys want to check that out, it's, uh, uh, E Stockman two, right? E stock, E stock two. two. I'm yep. sorry. E, okay. e stock two. Yep. And uh, yeah, and you can also check out her uh, adorable best friend, Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert, what'd you call him? The He's cow pig dog. The cow pig dog. <laughs> <laughs> Your baby, huh? Uh, he's my baby. He has been by my side for the last four years. Well, that's great. And you know, um, you need, you need uh, a fur baby by your side. Absolutely. For sure. I've always had one as well. 